Let's go to Psalm 1 and 1. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. So what does this mean? It is a blessing to not have to take the advice of sinners. It is a blessing to, how can I say this? It is a blessing to not be around sinners for entertainment purposes. Of course, if you are telling people about God, you are going to have to be around sinners, of course. But, for an example, myself, last year, I was really going through a tough time. And I was telling my situation to certain people. And many of them, not many, but some of them were sinners. Guess what? I found out that they told me the wrong things to do. And <laughs> they told me the wrong things to do. And now what they told me or some of the things that they told me was not sinful. But doing those things, I am not going to say that it had, it have made things worse, but if I would have done everything they told me to, wow, many things would have turned out bad. I'm serious. When it comes down to it, find Christian friends, friends that serve God. Now, don't get me wrong, there may be people who are in sin that may be smart, yes. But what I am trying to say many of the time, getting advice from a sinner is not good. Because let's say that God is putting you in a spiritual test where he is watching. Actually, he is watching everything now. But sometimes God puts us in a test. Let's say that you go to a sinner and tell them what you are going through like I did, which was foolish to a point. So if you are going through a test and you ask a sinner, hey, what should I do? They are going to tell you to do the wrong things. Does that make any sense? What we should do, we need faith in God. We need to put our whole faith in God. Many of the time, the things that we go through, it may be the first time for that particular situation. So what we do, we may ask other people what to do. And many of the time, that is wrong, especially if you are a servant of God. Does that make any sense? So what we are doing, we are placing more trust in people, sinful people, other than God. Does that make any sense where we are asking people what we should do, but actually we should be asking God what we should do. Sometimes we do ask God what we should do, then we ask people what we should do, then what we do is follow the advice of those sinful people, which makes no sense. 
because God has already told you what you should do, but since you have more trust in humans, you do what they say. And when you do that, many more, many more mistakes are going to happen. It is true. It is unfortunate, but hey, this is the reason why we should not have so much faith or trust in people. We should transition our trust in people. Hmm, how can I say that? We should transition our trust to God other than people. Does that make any sense? Transition it. Because I am telling you, if you have more trust in people than God, you are going to have so much problems and a lot of heartbreak as well. It is true. So really take heed to this. God bless.